there is a conversation in the regarding the beginning of Tachnun that some have the practice of reciting the Vidui, but prior to Tachnun. And they're different when Hagen brought down. Some have the practice to do it daily, some only on Monday and Thursday. And that would be logical as well. Because as mentioned, on Monday and Thursday, we add the whole the Hulachum, which deals with praying for God's mercy and speaking about our sins and our downfall and being reliant on God's mercy. And so whether or not we have the practice of reciting the actual vidui or not, we certainly all have the practice of making mention of our sins and acknowledging our virus and need for God's mercy in the context of this tefillah. And about a line specifically in the tefillah of the vidui, Rabbi Dr. Abraham J. Tversky picks up on <coughs> a apparent contradiction between the, in, in the conversation between God and Moshe. Because after the sin of the Egel Azov, the golden calf, God told Moshe that I'm going to destroy this people, this Am Kishe Orif, this stiff-necked people, because they are stiff-necked, I'm going to destroy them. And in response, Moshe's tefillah to save the Jewish people, he, told, he pleaded with God to let, to be, to, 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 to Forgive the Jewish people. Why? Because it is a stiff-necked people. For the very fact of Ukshe Orif, that we are stiff-necked. And Rabbi Dr. Torsky wonders, he says, I don't understand. God just said that because you are a stiff-necked people is why you are going to destroy, be destroyed. Because of the fact that you are stuck in your ways, you revert back to your idolatrous ways immediately following the glory of Yitzhak Mitzrayim. That's means for destruction. That's basis for destruction. And on the other hand, Moshe's response is that is why the Jewish people should be saved. So what is going on here? <laughs> Explains Rabbi Dr. Tversky. Yes, of course, that's what led to the downfall. And despite that, says Moshe Rabbeinu, that same leader, that same trait that led to the downfall of the Jewish people that caused them to sin and retract in their steps, in their growth. It is also the very Mida to which we attribute our survival and our commitment to God. Because once we received the Torah, once we received, became a nation and received God's commands, then that stiff neckedness, that stubbornness, as difficult as it may cause our choices sometimes, it is also what keeps us committed despite the suffering, despite the difficulties that we endure. It's that same kishay orif, that same stubbornness that enables us to remain connected to God. And so when we fall into our arm, when we fall on God's mercy, when we recite the vidui, we own up to our sins and we say we know that that stiff nakedness, that kishay orif is what led us to sin. But we also plead to Hashem and we say, please, God, at the same time, remember your mercy and remember Moshe's tefillah, that ultimately that same midah, which caused us to slip up, is ultimately what keeps us connected with you as well.